Hi, in this recording, we are given vector v1, which is 1, 2, 0, and v2, which is 0, 3, 1. And now we're also given a subspace w, consists of x, 2x plus 3z and z, of r3. In part b, we have found an orthogonal basis for the subspace w that's contained v1. Now, given a vector u, which is 3 minus 2, 4, we are going to find an orthogonal projection of u onto w. Now let's recall that in part b, we have already found the orthogonal basis of w, consists of w1, w2, which is 1, 2, 0, minus 6, 3, 5. Next, we're going to recall what is mean by orthogonal projection. In David Lay's linear algebra and its application, section 6.3, Page 411. If W is a subspace of Rn and if Y is a vector in Rn, then it can be expressed uniquely in the form of Y equal to Y cap plus Z. Y cap is in W. Z is a vector orthogonal of W. In fact, if you want the UP is any orthogonal basis of W, then Y cap will be a linear combination of U1 and UP according to this manner. And this y cap here is called the orthogonal projection of y onto w. To understand this geometrically, let me show you the picture. I have the vector w1 and w2, which are orthogonal, and a vector in space y. Now, this vector y can consider the projection of y onto w2. So I have a projection of y onto w2. Can also can consider an vector projection of y onto w1. So I have two vector. One of them is projection of y onto w1, and that one is projection of y onto w2. Now the projection of y into a plane spanned by w1, w2 is the sum of these two vector so that what you get now this vector here is the projection of y onto the plane spanned by w1 and w2 so this is a vector y cap here in the nodes in general rotation this y cap here is the projection of y onto w and this y cap here it actually the sum of these two vector. So now our u is three minus two four. So the projection of u onto w is two dot w one over w one dot w one times w one plus u dot w two over w two dot w two times w two. Let's do the calculation here. Now u is three minus two four. W1 is 1, 2, 0. W2 is minus 6, 3, 5. So, U dot W1 consists of 3 times 1. You get 3. And minus 2 times 2, you get minus 4. And 4 times 0, you get 0. This is equal to minus 1. And U dot W2 in this case, I have 3 times minus 6, then minus 18, plus minus 2 times 3, I got minus 6, plus 4 times 5, I got 20. So in the end, this is equal to minus 4. Then how about W1 to W1? W1 to W1, in this case, I have 1 times 1, which is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4, and 0 times 0 is 0. So in the end, this is 5. And W2 to W2, in this case, minus 6 times minus 6, you get 36, and 3 times 3, you get 9, 
and 5 times 5, you get 25. All together, this is 70. Projection of U to W, in our book notation, we call this U cap by David Lay notation. So, pulling U dot W1 is minus 1. W1 to W1 is 5, W1 is 120, U dot W2 is minus 4, W2 dot W2 is 70, and W2 is minus 635. Add together, this is 1 over 7 times 1 minus 4 and minus 2. And so this is the projection of U into a space W. That's the end of recording.